good evening welcome to dotprogramming.com uh, this is my blog uh, today i'm talking about uh, border color and border thickness example in wpf so first of all uh, add a new project uh, add a new wpf project in the solution so now add a object in the design window like the button control now add border around the uh, button control so that is the border brush define the color of the border border thickness define the boundary uh, width and the border brush define the color or the border so that is the border thickness is 2 pixel and the border brush is equal yeah that is now add in the code file so first of all border class is there b1 equals to new border class b1 dot set the width and the height of the object width equals to 30 and the height of the object is b1 dot height actually the object is designed uh, basis on the border so b1 dot border thickness or you can or okay border brush equals to brushes dot equal v1 dot border thickness equals to new thickness is it now define the thickness is 2 now b1 dot child child is a ui element in which uh, around the border is assigned so new button uh, what is the child a child is here button and the content of the button is hello world oops okay now add this border in the f mm, in the design so this dot content equals to b1 yeah now save this file and start it again yeah that is 30 height and width is 200 now change this in the particular uh, in the original format 200 is a width and the 30 is a height save this and start it again yeah hello world Now change the color dot split light save this start it again yeah that is actually this border is assigned uh, in each object which is available in the toolbox so uh, another example is I want to implement this border uh, on text box same mm, the two attribute is also added that is a border brush and the mm, thickness because this class is a universal class for all objects for all controls or components
that is oops this is the main window file oh the code behind file is contained the actually border so comment this and save this and start again yeah that is the text box now add a button control copy this properties and assign inside the button control also yeah that is 